Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. And Frank from Tested. Frank, we are here at Monster Palooza. Last year you took me here for the first time. It's a creature and effects convention. Horror and monster stuff. And it's like a place where fans and artists get to meet up and artists show off their newest works. Sculptors, painters, there's all kinds of designers. I like this stuff. There's a huge convention hall inside where artists have booths set up. You want to go in and check it out? Yeah, let's go see what they got. All right. Look who I ran into. This is Alfred. Alfred, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing well, man. For people who've watched our episodes before, I found from you last year one of my favorite things at this convention, which is your, your apples, your bad apple sculptures. Bad apple. Oh, they're amazing. Your sculptures are great. I know you're still at Sideshow? Still at Sideshow, working as a sculptor. Yeah, it's a full-time gig, and then this is my late hours stuff. And the late hour stuff is what we come to Monster Palooza yeah. to see. So can you share with us some of your new projects? Because these guys look a little familiar. These are the new ones. A couple of villains from maybe a familiar TV show, a cartoon that you guys might remember from the 70s. Scooby -Doo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Zoinks! So I've got some of my favorites from the show, The Creeper, Space Cook, and Charlie the Robot. And what you're doing here is also selling uh, unpainted kits. Yes, yeah. right? unpainted kits, yeah. like I, I like seeing what people do with their own takes on these things, like the apples. People send me pictures of the apples painted in like different styles, Granny Smith and other things, if even like, you know, zombies and some of the other crazy things that I make. It's amazing to see the creativity that the people who collect this work have when they paint the pieces. And even though you guys aren't here right now, you can check out Alfred's stuff on this website. We have a link in the description below. All these kits are available online. They will be soon. I'm so tired, I haven't had a chance to put them on, but yes, they will all be available soon. Great catching up with you. Awesome, thanks, Mark. Hey, it's Matt Hawkins, friend of Tested. How are you doing, Matt? Good, man. Good to see you. Uh, last year we came by at Monster Palooza, you had an operation game. It looks like it's a little bit improved. Tell me what's different. Oh, yeah. Well, last year was a mummy, and this year it's an insect. That looks yeah. incredible. Can I play the game? Sure. All you got to do is you take the tweezers, and then same as last time, you got 30 seconds. Don't, right. don't wake her up. I've done alien. Ah. I'm going to try that again. I was going to say, I've done... VR, uh, okay. Alien VR Simulator, right. a Surgeon Simulator, and so that's giving me a little bit of practice. Okay, so here we go. All right. It's a little tricky. So tell me about the design of this. What's activating here? Yeah, so it's a little bit different. We tried, uh, last time it was trying to make it obvious that it was an operation game. Uh, this time we wanted to make it where you didn't really see, you know, what was going on, you know, with the wires and things. But what we did was all the veining and things you see are actually wiring, uh, you know, steel wool. You know, we tried hiding, you know, the, the contact that you're actually making by making the veining actually sensitive itself. And you do a lot of animatronics, so how are you moving the actual yeah. insect? Yeah, so we have a EFX Tech controller in here, and we program it with a programming language called Spin. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing with us your insect operation game. I didn't quite beat it. I'll maybe try a couple more times. Matt, it's great to see you. Yeah, great to see you. Monster Palooza is also where a lot of amazing sculptors reveal their latest pieces. This is Mike Hill's newest werewolf from I Was a Teenage Werewolf. It looks so cool. Look at that drool.
Frank, that was a lot of stuff to say. A lot of monster paloozering. It's unlike any convention, any like, pop culture convention that we normally go to. You know, there are still people in costume, people in makeup, but unlike a lot of the other conventions, we see a lot of professionally done makeup happening in the show. You see them the whole day getting their makeup put on and then they're walking around. Yeah, all the schools and all the makeup companies and stuff like that, they do demos to show their product and show their students. and. It's a great way to like showcase your work. And then independent artists are also showcasing the work. The stuff they do late at night, not when it's their day job. You know, whether, whether they're working for a toy company or if they're some a painter, they're showing off their passion projects. And you can get kits, you can actually get stuff directly from them. Yeah, but there's artists from video game companies and people that work at the movie studios that just do this stuff for fun. And some of the best work that's like that they do because it's what they want. And then there's also the museum, a whole like, showcase of some of the best work really beautiful to depreciate in person and the work here you can actually find them on instagram that's where i'm following a lot of these artists and i just recognize oh i saw the instagram oh my god it's the actual artists who made it that's cool that's why you got to be at events like monster palooza thanks for walking through the hall with me frank we'll have more stuff on tested from this show until then we'll see you next time